Hello everyone and welcome to my darkroom. Today we're going to be developing color film. But first, before we can develop color film, we need to mix up our chemistry for developing that film. Um, so what we have here is a kit basically for mixing up and developing color film. So we're going to start out by pulling these chemicals out of the box and getting them mixed up into their containers so we can actually develop film. Uh, fairly similar to how black and white film works. Uh, we have a developer, and we'll be mixing that in with one liter of water. Then we have uh, a Blix, which is a bleach and a fixer. So we actually have a part A and B to that, similar to how our developer for black and white film works, where you have two separate parts that are mixed together, and that's what activates them. So that's part two. And then step three is just something called a stabilizer. Um, and the stabilizer you know, works similar to a fixer as well, I suppose, where you're just stabilizing the film so you don't have any fogging or any uh, loss of the negative after you're done developing. So that's really all that there is in the kit. You have your three chemicals as well as your instruction manual on how to use those chemicals. So what I'm going to do is get these chemicals mixed up and get them into the bottles and label these bottles which will be very important just like everything else we do is to make sure we label these bottles so we understand what chemicals are in which um, and also we'll have a separate set of funnels for our color chemistry to keep separate from our black and white chemistry and we'll make sure to keep those labeled so we don't you know kinda cross contaminate as well so like I said I'm going to go and get this mixed up and ready, and then we'll cut back to uh, getting ready to develop our film. Alright, so now we have our chemicals mixed up, and we actually have them in a water bath held at 110 degrees, which is basically the developing temperature for color film. A lot warmer than, say, standard black and white chemicals. Uh, standard black and white chemicals we keep it around 70 degrees or you know 20 degrees centigrade so a little warmer but pretty easy to do literally just have a tub here with hot water and this actually works well because it also stands in as our stop bath um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with the color developer uh, well scratch that what we're gonna do is start out just with a pre soak so over to the side here I have some water ready so we're just going to give this film a pre-soak and then we're going to move on to the color developer. Alright so we got a one minute pre-soak out of the way so now we're going to move on to our color developer. Um, since we're using a regular Patterson tank and we're working with a roll of 120 we know that we need 500 milliliters so we'll take and measure that out quick. There we go. And we got three and a half minutes on the clock, so we'll pour this in and hit start and get going. Now this is much like a black and white developer where the first 10 seconds we're just going to have heavy agitation. And then after that we're going to just do uh, you know basically a five second agitation every minute or so so about three agitations over this short cycle um, like I said three and a half minutes is all the developing time when we're working with our C41 developer so a lot quicker than most black and white films alright so as we wind down here we're gonna give it one last agitation And then now as the timer runs out, what we're going to do is actually just pour this right back into the color developer tank and then seal that off before we move on to our Blix. So, coming up on time here. Alright, and pouring it back in. There we go. Now we're going to move on 
to our Blix. So first I'm going to seal this and set it off to the side. And now we're going to get ready to work with our Blix. So for our Blix, we're going to do six and a half minutes. So longer than we did with our developer. But same deal, we're going to take it out of our water bath where we're keeping it at temperature. And we're going to pour out 500 milliliters. And there we go. There's 500 milliliters. So, I'm going to get ready to pour this in and hit start. And then we'll uh, get that going. Um, agitation cycle will be the same. Just uh, 10 seconds right away. And then 5 seconds every minute. So, we'll hit the timer and we'll pour that in and get it going. Alright, and it's that simple. So now we're just going to go ahead and do our agitation uh, every minute until we uh, run down on time. Alright, once again we're winding down this time on our Blix. Same as our developer, we're going to give it one last agitation and then we're going to pour it back into our uh, container here. Now the nice thing here is after we pour this back into the container, we'll actually be light safe. So for our stop bath, uh, we're going to take the water that we were using to keep our chemicals at temperature. And we're going to use that as our stop bath. And then we're going to clean out this tank and then put our stabilizer in there so we can finish out this process. So all right, there we go. There's our time. So let's pour back our Blix. There we go. Now we can set this off and out of the way. All right, now like I said, we are light tight, or light safe, so we're gonna take this out and put it right in to our wash bath here. Perfect. Like I said, I'm going to go take and wash this out, and we're going to use this for our stabilizer, which is the last part to this whole C41 color developing process. All right, we got this washed out, and now we're ready for our stabilizer. I got to make sure we keep this guy on the reel here. So let's give that a little more and pour our stabilizer in while we let that soak just a little while longer. There we go. We'll start out with that and if we need to add more we always can. And, and it goes perfect, just the right amount of stabilizer. Uh, for the stabilizer we're just going to want to do a minute, so really simple. Barely even need a timer for it, but when you have the timer there, it's always best to use it. There we go. So for the start of this, we just did a 15 second agitation, and then we'll basically leave it for the rest of this minute. Um, once our stabilizer is done, we'll be able to pull the film out and uh, get a look at it and see how it turned out. Uh, color film or color negative film in this case being at C41 uh, is a little different. Obviously with black and white you get a pretty good look at where your contrast and that is. Uh, with color negative, you know, with the colors being inversed, a little tougher to see but I mean still we'll be able to see some images here. 
and maybe even on the video we'll uh, <laughs> flip the color so we can uh, invert and look at what the uh, film will look like. So we'll see what we can do there. We'll get creative. All right, that's been our minute. So we'll pull that out and set it to the side. And what we'll do is get our stabilizer back into our tank and then let's pull this off of here and take a look at what we got. All right, so we can get our stop bath out of here and we'll throw down a little light backdrop and let's see how this looks. Awesome, we definitely got some images coming out, so that's a huge plus for the first time working with this developer on color film. So it looks pretty positive. Awesome, guys. All right, so what we're gonna do is get this hung up to dry just like a normal film. And what we can do is go ahead and scan it in. And like I said, we'll get a look at some of the images that we got off of this roll using our C41 uh, color developing process. So we'll cut to uh, voiceover <laughs> and some images and go from there. All right, here we are. We have everything scanned in and got it up on the screen for you. Um, really, the main takeaway from all this is that um, this C41 kit did a really really great job of um just i mean being able to process color film at home um and really the price on this kit isn't bad either it was about thirty dollars shipped and you know one of the big things when it comes to the differences between say this c41 kit or a black and white kit is um color film has a much higher tolerance when it comes to the temperatures that we develop at. Um, and I talked about that earlier in the video where we had to keep this around 100 degrees. Um, and really it's just all about that chemical reaction. Um, when you have a warmer uh, bath or a warmer uh, chemical, you have a faster or a quicker reaction. Whereas if we were to let uh, the temperature of our chemicals kind of dip down during that developing process you'd end up with kind of muted uh, tones possibly or just really uh, underdeveloped film so a lot more stringent on what that temperature needs to be but uh, aside from the te technical aspect of this really I couldn't be more impressed with uh, just the sharpness and the color and the tone on how these pictures turned out um, and this roll actually was from about, uh, let's say, six months ago, about a year ago even at this point. Um, so I had shot this roll, and then I had been sitting on it waiting to uh, get this Color C41 kit and actually try it out. So, like I said, really, takeaway note here is really impressed with this. Uh, anybody looking to shoot C41 color film and then process it themselves, this is a really great kit to kind of get your feet wet in photography um, past just that black and white film. So uh, with that in mind, I'm hopefully going to be looking forward to doing even more with this uh, color processing kit in the future. So look forward to that. Uh, hopefully we'll try it on some 35 millimeter. Uh, we'll try it on some different formats and we'll have fun with it. But uh, for now, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.